Hi everyone, I'm going to do this video that was requested um, for me to do a review um, or basically a video of all of my foundations. Um, so I'm going to do that for you guys and show you guys some things. Now I'm going to show you some foundations that I can no longer use because they are way too dark for me, but I am going to tell you what I like about them and what I don't like. So basically I busted out all of my foundations that I've used. Um, currently right now I'm using a tinted moisturizer. Every once in a while I use foundation if I want a little bit of extra coverage um, or if I'm breaking out, you know, I want a little bit more uh, to even out my skin tone. So I'll use a foundation, but <clears throat> I just want to throw that out there that I do use a tinted moisturizer. Um, but I do have a lot of foundation, so I'm just going to go through. I think I'm going to start off with my drugstore brands first and then um, move up from there. So the first one that I'm going to show you guys... Um, let me try to shake it up, is the Revlon Colorstay uh, Liquid Makeup with SPF 6. So it doesn't have a very high SPF. You can get this at any drugstore, Ulta, uh, Target, Walgreens, CVS, even um, some grocery stores carry like Walmart. Um, this is the one for combination oily skin. What I love about this line is not only, one, they have a lot of color ranges that you can choose from, so you can't go wrong. Two, the biggest thing is that it it breaks it down for normal skin, dry skin, and oily skin. So if you have any of those skin types, you can easily find something that will, you know, suit you. So for me, it's a combination um, oily skin, and it's supposed to provide an, an oil-free, um, basically it's oil-free, and it's um, shine control. It gives you a natural, flawless look, and um, it provides, uh, the soft flex, provi soft flex provides all day comfort. So this is a pretty good foundation. The only thing I don't like about it is that there isn't a pump to it, um, which is something that I have an issue with with uh, another foundation. Uh, but you can uh, definitely tell, I've used quite a bit of it. It's probably about here. Um, I've had this for a while now. And if you give it a good shake, um, you should get um, some pretty good uses about it. So I do love this. Um, the shade that I have is 150 Buff. I haven't used this recently within the last couple months, so I'm not too sure if this is my shade still or if I need to uh, go with something a little bit lighter because this was kind of in the transition when I was tan and then going back to my natural skin tone. So, um, But that's a good one. Another drugstore, again, another one from Revlon, is the Revlon Photo Ready Makeup. Um, my shade is number 003 Shell, and I have used this in tutorials before, and I have used it um, as I'm filming a tutorial, and I tell you guys what I'm using, and I've mentioned this before. Um, I do like this one. It has a shimmer to it, so uh, for those um, with oily skin, like for me, I do have oily skin. Um, everything makes me shiny, so... I try not to use this one as much. I do like it. Um, it gives you a complete coverage written on the back. It's fragrance free and oil free, which are the two biggest things that I look for in a foundation with no fragrance to irritate my skin and no added oil that will make me even more oily. Um, it gives you an airbrush finish, which is the reason why it's so shimmery. Like when the light hits you or when the sun hits you, your skin looks luminous and just very naturally just glowing. And it just gives you that very even coverage. So I do like it. It has a pump. Um, you can also get this one at the drugstore. Um, they're usually together, these two foundations in the Revlon section. So that one's pretty good. Um, let's see. The Almay Smart Shade Liquid Makeup. This one is SPF 15. My shade is number 100 Light. This one is actually pretty cool. I got this because it reminds me a lot of my uh, Origins Vita Zing. It starts off white and then it picks up the natural pigment of my skin and it turns to the perfect shade. Basically, it's already, you know, the, there's already little pigments in there to match a light skin tone. Um, I do like this. It gives me a very light coverage. It's a light to medium coverage, so if you want something full coverage, this won't do it. Unless you, you know, pack it on, you can use um, the Beauty Blender. Or I have, like, this one that's supposed to be like a Beauty Blender from Ulta. And the only thing, it does stain. It's not dirty. It's just the foundation stains. And you'll have the same problem with the Beauty Blender. Um, it'll get stained, so don't worry. Okay, so this uh, is hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, and oil free. So if you're someone who has very sensitive skin, I would definitely uh, pick up this foundation because everything in the line is hypoallergenic. So if you're very sensitive, it tries to use ingredients that will um, won't be as harsh. It doesn't have any fragrances in it, I don't think, um, and you don't have to worry about you know any ingredients you know irritating your skin because they try to keep that in mind with this line. So this is good. Um, another foundation that I have, I've used it a couple times, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like this, but I'm going to just show it to you anyways, um, is the Maybelline Dream Mousse, um, Dream Smooth Mousse. It looks like that. It comes with a sponge, like this, and I've used it a couple times. 
you unscrew it and it's almost like a little petri dish and it has the actual products in it my shade or the shade that i have is number eight, 180 new beige and it's really soft and silky you can let me do so as you can see it's a little bit too dark for me now um but this uh it's starting to dry out, which I don't like that because it's starting to pull away from the container. Um, what I don't, it's just supposed to be ultra hydrating uh, cream whipped foundation. Something that's ultra hydrating, I should have stayed away from because obviously when you have oily skin, you need things that are going to be a little bit drier, the formula, versus something that's going to be a little bit more wet and just crazy looking. Um, this one makes me extremely oily. It doesn't really provide any coverage. I think it's very similar to, I would say, my Tinted Moisturizer from Tarte is actually better at giving me more coverage than this does, and a Tinted Moisturizer just doesn't give you that much coverage. Anyways, it's very, very sheer. So this, to me, um, the, let me show you guys the back. Hopefully, it will, my camera will focus. Anyways, this to me is a waste of money. Um, I've used the uh, Dream Matte Mousse Foundation before, and I like that. I used to use that back in the day um, when I was in college. I didn't have money for expensive foundations, so that's Maybelline was kind of my line for that. Um, but this is a waste, so I'm just going to show you guys that this is horrible. That's, that's why I haven't even used it. I didn't even tell you guys I bought this. I've had this since last year, and it sucks. It really does. It's horrible. Another product from Maybelline, it's um, the Dream Matte Powder. Let's see, mine is shade is in beige medium, it's 2 to 2.5. Um, this is a powder, it gives me a pretty good coverage. I'm wearing it right now and it gives me a nice coverage. I have hit pan on this, it's it's a product that I really enjoy from Maybelline. Um, let me do a swatch, so you guys can see it's a powder but when you put it on it doesn't look very cakey, you can't even see it. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look powdery. It gives me a nice even tone like I have today. I didn't want to put foundation on. Um, but I decided to use this. And I, I like it. I do. I like this product a lot, obviously, because I've hit pan on it. But um, I really do feel like this gives me a nice even coverage when I, when I wear it on my bare skin. I like to use this over foundation. Let's say, for example, I'm using you know, foundation for the day. I like to kind of set it with this just very lightly with my one of my new favorite brushes. Oh my gosh, I love these brushes. These are the one, Real Technique brushes from Samantha Chapman. You get these um, at Ulta. These are going to be included in my favorites for April. I love them. I've used them a couple times and from the very first day, I fell in love with them. Like, I'm going to go get the other sets and stuff because I love them. Anyways, um, so I use that, it's a multitasker brush and I use that to, you know, set my out my foundation with this and I, I like it it's pretty good let's see oh for a drugstore another one is the Maybelline liquid mousse dream liquid mousse obviously this is too dark for me it's kind of the same shade as this is medium 2.5 like my powder but the powder you can easily get away with it being a little bit darker or not so much your cor correct shade um, versus a liquid foundation this one gives me you know pretty good coverage as you can see I'm you know, I used to use this like crazy um, when I was tanning um, because it's, it's pretty dark. And um, I love the pump. You pump it in the back of your hand, pump it on your sponge or on your makeup, on your foundation brush. So I do like this. If you guys want to try like a cheap um, foundation that gives you, you know, somewhat of an airbrush finish, not quite so much. Um, it gives me, I would say, light to medium coverage on this. It wouldn't, it wouldn't give you a full coverage, so... Um. Okay, now the rest of the foundations that I have are not drugstore. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, <laughs> kind of expensive. Um, another foundation that I like that's mineral is the Bare Minerals. My shade is light, and it has an SPF uh, 15 in it, which is good, so you got to just keep an eye on it because it does expire. And it should have a date somewhere printed on either the packaging or underneath the label, which I have it. You know, this is one of the older packagings, the new packagings. It has like the little sifter cap where you can twist it to get the product out and then twist it so if you travel with it, it doesn't spill all over because this what is what going to happen to you. You see how it's all over the place? That's what happens. This is an old container. I'm pretty much almost out of it. It's hardly anything in there. Um, but I used this yesterday and I just, with again, with the same Samantha Chapman brush, I just dusted it all over. Gives me a nice luminous glow. I used to use the matte one, which they recommend for oily skin. At first it broke me out, and then I got used to it. But then I gave it to my mom because I was medium beige, and that's her shade. So I just kept the light in my uh, makeup. Another powder is the um, one from Laura Geller. It's the Balance and Bronze, but this is the one from a kit. And I 
yeah, you can see how it's completely lopsided the mound because I've been wearing this side down. I actually use um, a little bit of this over my um, Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I do like this. I like the color. Um, as you guys can tell, it has little veinings, it has yellow, and has, you know, a pale color. It has a little bit of a, you know, a darker tan. And what this does, when you swirl all of this together, it just, the yellow cancels out, you know, any redness or anything like that. So it, it helps balance out the skin. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but on the side, my camera's not going to zoom in because it never does, but I'm starting, there's a terracotta pan at the bottom. It's like a porcelain pan. I'm actually... You can actually touch that with your nail on the side here. That's how much I've used it since... I've had this since December. And um, it's almost time for me to get a new one. So I might have to. Um, it's sitting on like a little porcelain. The way it's baked, it's, they just pop it in there in a little container. But this is a very good foundation. You can get them from uh, QVC. Let's see. Another foundation. Um, the Lorac ones. I'm going to show you these. I have the Natural Performance oil-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free, and then I have the Breakthrough Performance oil-free anti-aging with an SPF of 14. I don't think this other one has an SPF, uh, but this is what they are. It's what they look like. One has a, you know, charcoal cap for anti-aging, and the, the black one is just the original. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty much full. I mean, I used to use this one a little bit. As you, as you pump it, it moves up, so you end up using it all, and it's got the little cute little you twist it and it comes up and then you twist it down anyways um, these are about $35 a piece not worth it I'm not a fan of these um, I said I was gonna return them but then I got to the point where it was too late for me to return something I got these at Ulta you have 60 days and it's like I guess um, based on the receipt it's been more than that um, so I couldn't uh, return them so I was stuck with them and they just been sitting there so these are not good foundations. I would not recommend these at all. They don't cover. They actually clogged my pores and made me break out. And as soon as I stopped using this in foundation period, I started to see my skin was clearing up and it was looking fantastic. So I am very scared to put this back on my face. So for me, I'm just going to probably end up throwing them away or giving them to somebody who who needs foundation, who, who doesn't you know want to spend money on foundation. And I'll just let them know. I mean, the, the back of it sounds pretty good. You know, anti-aging, breakthrough performance, oil-free, you know, complete uh, flawless coverage, you know, red carpet ready, pampering, blah, 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 all those words that they use on the back of this. It's very enticing to buy it. But if you get anything from this, do not buy this. And please do not buy the, the Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation from Maybelline because it's crap. Please, don't waste your money on it. Now, another foundation um, is... An, the Cargo Oil Free Foundation, and it comes in these little packets. I've had this for a really long time. The shade that I have is F40, and that little sticker at the bottom is where you'll find the uh, coloring on it. I like this little packaging because you can twist it up, and your the foundation comes out through the little tube. It's very you know thin, so you can you know slide this in your purse. If you have you know a small little makeup bag for traveling and you're limited on space, this can fit you know on the side. Um, the only thing is when you start to squeeze the product, some of it tends to kind of pour out of it very quickly. I don't use this, like I said, um, very often, but it is lightweight and it gives you, you know, coverage. And it says it's perfect for all skin types. Now, if you want to get the, you know, take the guesswork out of what's good for oily skin, what's good for dry, normal combination, this is something that you might want to try. It's for all skin types. Um, which basically you go to Ulta and you get your match and then you just, you know, use it like a normal foundation. Um, for me, my skin still got oily through the day with this on, just like it does with anything that I've put on. So it's not bad, but it's not the best foundation. Like I've tried better ones, um, but this is, you know, it's pretty decent. You get a lot. Like this is just, I've had this for a while and I've used it quite a bit when I first got it. But this thing was a lot fuller and... I mean, it's the packaging is super cute. I mean, it really is. I like the packaging on that. Another one that I really like is the NARS Sheer Glow. Now, I got this because I was kind of in the mood or in this... I was stuck on luminous, glowy, dewy skin, blah, 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 whatever. And, you know, I kind of just forgot that my skin is oily and it already looks like right now. It just looks like I have, you know, you know, shimmery highlighting products on. And I don't. It's just my skin is, is naturally oily like that. And... You know, I just wanted to try it because everybody on, on 
on YouTube was talking so greatly about this foundation that, you know, I was just like, you know, I need to try this out. So I did, and I like it. You know, I really do, but the only thing is you have to unscrew it, and there's no pump. This one is 44 or 45, so you got to kind of, you know, kind of gauge how much you are willing to spend on a foundation. But if you want to spend it, if you have the money to spend it, um, you could try the NARS Sheer Glow or the, there's another foundation that they have. Um, let's see, the Stila One Step Makeup Foundation. It is a primer, foundation, concealer, powder in one step. This is what it looks like. I've had this for a really long time. I got this when it first came out. My shade is light number two. And this is actually a pretty good um, foundation. It feels silky. It feels kind of like a mousse. It gives you really nice full coverage. You can tone it down and not use as much. Um, and it gives you kind of a light sheer coverage, but then you can build it up. So it gives you that versatility of having sheer to full on coverage. So I like it's helpful. I'll review some foundations. If you have questions, I can do individual reviews on any foundation that you'd like. And I hope it was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.